So my new book, America's Poor and the Great Recession, grew out of a request from Tavis Smiley, the radio and television personality. He, along with Cornell West, uh, had decided to, that they were going to launch what they call the Poverty Tour. That is, you know, go around the country and try to draw attention to the growing plight of the poor in the United States. We tried to put together relevant statistics uh, related to the issue, but then also uh, provide some policy recommendations that perhaps even in these tough polit political times could uh, be implemented. Currently, about 46 million Americans, according to our latest count, are poor. That means for a family of four, uh, they're living on less than $23,000 a year. Looking a little more closely at that, about one in five children in the United States are living in those households that have very low income. And this is the highest rate of poverty that we've had in about 15 years. We also know the unemployment rate is falling, but very, very slowly, and you know, it's not clear that workers who have less education and who tend to be overrepresented among the poor are catching up and getting the jobs that are coming back. Of course, in the current political environment, it's difficult to get a lot of things done. I will say that the Recovery and Reinvestment Act did do a lot to lift people out of poverty. In, in the absence of some of those reforms, our poverty rate would have been much higher. One of the things we talk about is providing you know, more education and training opportunities for people who have been particularly long-term employed, more than six months. Uh, if they haven't found a job now, they probably are going to need to upgrade their skills in order to do so.